Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gates, CSA 1997. The given question is, which one of the following is not decidable? Okay, so we are in search of a non-decidable thing. Option A says that given a Turing machine M, a string yes sir and an integer k m accepts yes sir within a k steps okay option b says that equivalence of two turing machines option c says language accepted by a given a finite state machine is non-empty and language generated by the context of free grammar is non-empty so i think we can conclude that option c and d are 100 percent true right so if you recall the table also from table also we can solve them right so language accepted by the finite state machine so when we are talking about finite state machine acceptance like membership or emptiness of finiteness everything is possible the same condition with respect to context free also everything is possible and here they are talking about non-empty so means non empty is also possible so i think we can conclude that both of them are decidable okay so when it comes to a and b i am 100 percent sure that b is not valid right because equality is only possible for regular expressions and for any other it is not possible so i am 100 percent sure that it is undecidable right yes when it comes to option a option a is a bit of a confusion right so they are saying g is a turing machine m a string yes and an integer k Okay, M accepts within a K steps. So to be clear, when we are talking about uh, halting with respect to Turing machine, we cannot say, right? Or membership also we cannot say. So basically, I think both of these are undecidable, right? So I think A and B are the answers, right? Yes. Okay, yes. So I think both of them will be undecidable. But in the examination, if this is a single select question, I'll be answering B guys because I am 100% sure that equivalence of two Turing machines is impossible, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So few students might be saying that if there are K steps, it might be uh, decidable. So it might be guys. I'm not sure about it. So most probably A on B should be the answers. And if it is a single select question, I'll be answering B as the answer. Okay. Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea on this and C and D are compulsory decidable. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Right. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.